The Devil's Pool is a natural pool the confluence of three streams among a group of boulders near Babinda, Queensland, Australia. Since 1959, 17 people have lost their lives in the waters of Devil's Pool. Of these 17 deaths, all but one have been young men. While reckless behaviour and treacherous currents may account for a number of drownings in the one location, the high number of deaths of young males in one swimming hole seems rather extraordinary, especially when you consider not all the victims were actually swimming in the water at the time of their deaths. In one instance, a young couple stood together on the rock platform admiring the view, when according to one witness, without warning, the water suddenly rose, sweeping both into the water. While the girl was lucky to survive, unfortunately, her male companion did not. Reports of deaths at Devil's Pool go back long before 1959. According to local Aborigines, if you disrespect the sacred site, the site will disrespect you. This appears to be illustrated by the story of one such young man. The man was seen by others showing his disrespect by kicking the plaque that honours those who lost their lives at the pool. As he kicked the plaque, he slipped, fell into the pool and drowned. In an attempt to end the seemingly high incidence of drowning deaths occurring at the waterhole, the regional council introduced a no-go zone, and erected a number of warning signs to discourage daredevil swimmers. Mayor Val Scheer said the following, There have been 17 deaths recorded at Devil's Pool with close encounters still happening to this day. The aim of this no-go zone is to prevent further incidents. Perhaps a less sensible suggestion to end the deaths, and one which obviously would have failed to respect the sacred site was considered by some locals a few years back. Their plan was to blast the Devil's Pool with dynamite and turn the whole area into rubble. Luckily, that was never attempted. The last recorded death at the Devil's Pool was that of Tasmanian naval seaman James Bennett in 2009. Other recent victims include an Adelaide Taurus and a businessman from Sydney in 2006. It appears that visitors rather than locals fall victim to the seemingly cursed pool. So do you think this place is cursed or just a dangerous stretch of water? Some believe there's a spirit that watches over the water. Can a place really have negative or evil energy that's capable of killing? Or are the high number of deaths not really that unusual for a dangerous waterhole? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.